And Colorado's essential workers helped carry through the pandemic. And now Governor Polis is calling on Congress to create a clear path for people to earn their citizenship. As Denver 7 CB Cotton explained, some feel this is just the starting point to advocate for Colorado's immigrant communities. Well, my ancestors are from the headwaters of the Rio Grande in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Uh, Hickory, Apache, and Oke Wingay. Ian Tafuya carries his indigenous ancestry, and with it, he sometimes carries the weight of teaching others. I do hear racist tropes, of course, right? Go back home. Well, the border crossed us. We didn't cross the border, right? So that conversation is a, is a complex one for them. And for us, again, I go back to like immigration's natural. As co-chair of the Colorado Latino Forum, Tafoya advocates for the advancement of the Latinx community and immigrant rights. On Wednesday, Governor Jared Polis announcing his latest step and advocating for the immigrant community too. I am excited that the governor is joining with the chorus of people who are asking for immigration reform. Governor Polis sent a letter to U.S. congressional leadership this week calling the nation's immigrant community vital to powering the economy through the pandemic, filling the essential workforce in a variety of sectors. Now, Governor Polis wants Congress to create, quote, an immigration system that is humane and orderly, rooted in justice and enforceability. A system that we can be proud of includes a pathway to earn citizenship. For us, immigration is natural. Climate immigration is natural. People move. It's been happening since the beginning of time. And so for us, we really just want to make sure it's less expensive, that the times are shorter, that it becomes easier to do it. And of course, getting our children out of the cages. Congress hasn't passed any major immigration reform in over 30 years, with Republicans and Democrats rarely reaching across the aisle. But now, the governor's letter comes on the heels of congressional Democrats hoping to put immigration action into Biden's domestic agenda for this fall. Tafoya and other advocates say it's action that's long overdue. I mean, there has to be more done in the community for education about pathways to citizenships. It's incredibly costly, right? It shouldn't cost that much money to ask to live in a place where you're working and contributing to society. CB Cotton, Denver 7.